What's up guys, my name is Fazan Amjad. In this video, I'm going to show you 6 time saving tips for DaVinci Resolve to edit fast. So when we try to preview the clip, the clip is lagging as you can see guys. Now what we usually do is we go to the playback and we go to the timeline proxy resolution and we change this to quarter if it is set to full. But as you can see guys, my video is still lagging. So what we have to do is we have to right click, we have to go to the generate proxy media and now it is generating proxy media for this video. Now once it's done, as you can see guys, we can smoothly preview the clip. Now you can also customize the resolution for this proxy media. We have to go to the file and we have to go to the project settings. And in project settings, we have to go to the master settings. And in master settings, if you scroll down, go to the optimize media and render cache. And you can choose your resolution from here. As you can see guys, I choose automatically, but you can choose original half quarter and etc. And you can click on the save button. So how to do a quick zoom in and zoom out fast in DaVinci Resolve. First I have this clip. Now I'm going to split this clip using the razor tool. To use the razor tool you can go to the timeline and as you can see guys we have this razor which the shortcut key is B that I customize. So you can also customize your shortcut key. We have to go to the keyboard customization search for razor and you can set your keyboard shortcut right here. Now guys I'm going to right click to create a new compound clip. Now I'm going to select this clip. Go to the transform. I'm going to add 1.5 zoom effect right now. I'm going to right click again and create a new compound clip of this compound clip. Now I'm going to delete this clip. Now in the media pool, we have two compound clip. We have to select this clip, right click, and we have to create multiple clip using selected clips. And now, as you can see, guys, we have this multiple clip. We have to drag this in timeline. We have to uncheck inspector. Click here to set this to dual screen. We have to change this to multiple cam, right? Now the angle number one is zoom in compound clip and the angle number two is zoom out compound clip. And now what we have to do is we have to play this video, press space key, press two to set this to angle number two, one to angle number one, two, one, two, one, two. And as you can see guys, we can easily create this zoom in and zoom out effect using multi cam. And now check this out. So how to blur anything on screen? Go to the color page and in color page, go to the power window. Now in power window, we have these window templates. We can select this one and we can also, for example, if I want to blur this intro, I'm going to draw this right and we can go to the effects. We can drag this Gaussian blur. So this one is my favorite. We can add this mosaic blur and now have a look. We can increase the pixel frequency to about here and now check this out. Now the best thing is we can go to the tracker, we can uncheck these right, we can check pan and tilt, uncheck 3D and we can drag this forward and backward. And now have a look, we can easily blur that. And now as you can see guys if I play this video, we have this blur on the screen. Now if you want to blur multiple things, we can go to the power window again, we can, this time I'm going to select this one, I'm going to lower the size right, let's place this about here and go to the tracker. We can drag backward and forward. So this way we can easily blur anything on screen. Now as you can see guys, I have three clip in track number one and I have one clip in track number two. Now sometime when you want to delete a clip, you select a clip, you press delete key on the keyboard. It will delete the clip and ripple at the same time and it will change the position of this video track. Now what if you don't want that? So I'm going to press Ctrl Z. And I'm going to check on this position log. And now if I select this clip, I press delete key or backspace key. As you can see guys, it won't change the position. It won't delete the ripple. If you select the ripple, we can press delete key. It won't delete the ripple. So using position log, you can delete your clip without disturbing the position of other tracks. Now as you can see guys, in this video, I have 5 clips. Now what if you want to replace a clip in this video? So don't split your clip, it will take you some time. Go to the media instead. Drag that clip in the media page. And in media page, we have to right click. And as you can see guys, we have this scene cut detection. We have to select this one. And as you can see guys, we have this window. So I'm going to click on this auto scene detect. And it will detect the scene in our video. And now as you can see guys, it automatically detected that we have the scene. So I'm going to add 
cuts to media pool right now we are done now we have to select this window we have to close this window right we have to go to the edit page and now as you can see guys we have these clips right so now i'm going to drag these clips in my timeline i'm going to select this one press delete key it will delete the ripple as well and now as you can see guys we have these five clips now you can easily replace this clip as you can see guys we can select these clips individually so you can delete these clips as well if you want to replace this clip we can select this one press backspace and let's suppose we have this clip we can place this clip frame this and now here we go now this one is my favorite so when i edit my tutorial what i usually do is i press space key and i press l key on the keyboard to preview this clip in 2x speed as you can see guys we have 2x speed and now if i press l key on the keyboard and press l key again as you can see guys we have this 2x appear we can press l key again and we have double the speed we can press space it will reset this to a normal speed press space again and there you go so this way you can edit your video faster than the usual so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to check out my courses i really appreciate if you check them out and i will see you guys in the next one